Hey, welcome to Catholic Breakfast. Today we're going to talk about the Annunciation and how, how it points to how faith and understanding work together. I heard one time, and I'm not sure if it's 100% true, so you know, Google it and let me know if I'm, if I'm wrong about this, but I heard one time that, uh, that the Annunciation is the most frequently depicted image in the history of the human race. Yeah. It's just, I mean, there's just tons of it. Like, do a Google image search for Annunciation. It, it's just one of the most beguiling events in human history that artists have long loved to, to paint and depict it. Of course, I'm speaking here about when the angel Gabriel comes to the Blessed Virgin Mary and announces to her that she's going to conceive the new son of David who will uh, sit on the throne of David and rule forever. A um, lot of things to say about this. Let me just say two. One is that the Annunciation is a great image of faith and understanding, what they are and how they go together. Here's what I mean. Faith. What's faith? Faith is a kind of personal response in trust to another person. When God is revealing something, faith is the appropriate, coherent, and rational response to that. Think of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The angel comes to her and says, Hail, full of grace. Hail, highly favored one. And then here's this message. You will conceive and bear a son. Faith allows the Blessed Virgin Mary to receive that and to trust it. And she, she says, Let it be done unto me according to thy word, according to the word of the Lord. In other words, I won't block what God wants to do in me. The measure of my receptivity is the measure of God's will. See, that's a great act of trust, right? Okay, you say, but, okay, good, but how is that not a kind of launch into the abyss or kind of free fall into irrationality or something? Because Mary can't control it. She can't fully understand what the angel is saying to her. Good, but notice the second piece of what Mary does. She says, how can this be? She asks the angel a rational question. You know, the medievals had this wonderful line, fides querens intellectum. That means faith seeking understanding. Because faith is not a kind of trusting without or despite evidence, it's not sub-rational. You might say it's um, trans-rational or super-rational. Faith wants to know. It wants to understand. So Mary, she says, I know not man, right? You say, I'm going to conceive a child. Well, Mary knows where babies comes from. So she wants to know in her virginal state, how is this going to come about? She's not doubting. She wants to understand. Sometimes we say, oh, you know, I, I, I'm really doubting God in my life. But sometimes it's not a doubt at all. It's just a question. H how is this going to happen? How am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be, be able to be faithful in this situation? That's not a, a doubt necessarily. It's a question. And wonderfully, the angel Gabriel answers the question. It's not by man that you'll conceive but by the power of the Most High. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you, and it's by the Holy Spirit that you'll conceive, right? Now, does that mean Mary has a kind of mathematical understanding of every detail? No, but what she has is understanding. And you can see over the course of her life in the Gospel of Luke, that understanding isn't complete. It develops, it grows. When she has struggles and ups and downs, when she loses Jesus and finds him, all the way up to the moment she's at the cross, there's this deepening understanding. In fact, a sign that you have real faith in God is that you want to read books about the faith. You want to spend time with the scriptures. You want to try to solve the dilemmas and the questions that come up in the faith. You want to understand how, how faith and science fit together, etc. On the Feast of the Annunciation, I hope you have a beautiful Feast of the Annunciation. I hope that the Annunciation inspires you not only to have more faith, more trust in what God speaks to us, but also a desire to understand the faith better.